Creating stress isometrics from your autopipe model is straightforward and there is a helpful dialogue to guide you. It is important though that the user installs Open Plant Isometrics Manager on their machine in order to create the stress isometric. When in the software center to install Autopipe, you'll notice that there is a dependency listed underneath the Autopipe version. And this will show which Open Plant Isometrics Manager version, or we'll refer to it as OPIM, which version needs to be installed with the version of Autopipe that you'll be using in order for successful compatibility. When in any model in Autopipe, you can save a stress isometric. You first will want to analyze the model to get results if you do want to include those results on your stress isometric. And then from the file ribbon tab in the isometrics grouping, you can select save stress isometric. This will open up the save as dialog so that you can give the isometric file that you're creating a file name. By default, it will have the same file name as your autopipe model, and it will be a DGN model. Uh, but you can select from DWG, DXF, and a 2D DGN. So I'll leave the default and click Save. And the next thing that pops up is the Autopipe Isometrics Manager Options dialog. This is the dialog that you can use to pick and choose what you would like to include on your stress isometric. And in detail, of how you would like it set up and how many sheets you would like, how you would like the model split, if you want a plot and a table, if you want separate tables or contextual tables. There are many options to make right within this dialog. And these are all gone through in the Stress Isometrics training class available. So I'm going to leave these as default and just click OK. And when I do that, the next thing that pops up is the data editor because I asked to be able to edit my data. This gives you the opportunity to edit the data that will show up in the table prior to the file being created. It's a lot easier to edit this text in here than in MicroStation or any other CAD product. So I'll leave it as default and click OK. And I'll see a dialog that tells me that the stress isometric is being created. Once it's done, I see that it's generated. And when I click OK, in my setup, I had asked for the isometric to automatically open up with OPIM when it was created. And so we see that it automatically opens up here. I see the plot with all the information I included. And I see the contextual table on the side, which again, I had the option to edit in the data editor. This is a small model, simple data. So one, one drawing was created, but there will definitely be instances where you have multiple drawings created by default, or you can make the decision to create multiple drawings uh, by adding in breakpoints along your model or by asking for a separate data table. If I close out this file, I can always open Open Plan Isometrics Manager up again by clicking on the button available in Autopipe. I want to make sure I open OPIM from this button within Autopipe. If I open it externally to Autopipe, I will be charged usage for that product. And if I don't have a license for that product, that is something I don't want to do. So if you don't have a license for OPIM, make sure that you always open it from within Autopipe and that will not incur any OPIM uh, separate charges. So I can always open that here and that will open the program. And if I want to see a list of the recent isometrics I've created in Autopipe, I can select the recent isometrics button. This shows me that list and I can select one and open it and it will automatically open it in OPIM. Again, this is okay because it's opening it from within Autopipe. And again, I see that DGN file that was just created.